my sensors indicate a new episode of Dave's Vintage Apple Tech has just been uploaded. Hi, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. And today, um, I'm going to show you something that I found out. I was having a lot of trouble installing anything on a particular laptop. It's a Mac Pro. It's a 2009. Could not get it to accept any software at all. And I kept getting this similar uh, problem here. So I tried various things. I tried to do a DMG download. I tried to do from the optical drive. I tried to do it from a USB drive and still kept getting this error. So I just kept looking and looking on the internet and I found this little thing here and I'm going to show you uh, what I did to make it work. Okay guys, so um, I'm on my uh, PowerBook uh, G4 and um, it works on the G4s as well as your modern Macs and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I did to make it work. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down in the terminal here and we're going to open it up and I'm going to zoom in on it here so uh, you can see what I'm going to type in. So we're on terminal and what you're going to do is you're going to type in a uh, date and then you're going to hit enter or return and then it's going to come up with the uh, the date on it here and you can see it's uh, June 9th and it gives you the time and it gives you the year of 2020. So what we're going to do if that date is wrong that a lot of times will cause your software not to load up and uh, I'm trying to do this guys but I have Frederica here uh, she's being very bad. She's trying to uh, eat my cables here. Fred, don't. Hold on just a second, guys. Hold on. Fred, come on now. Be nice. Come on now. There you go. Be good girl. Be good girl. And so anyway, um, let's get back to what we're doing here. And so anyway, so I'm going to show you how to key that in. Okay, guys. So if you look here on the uh, PowerBook uh, G4, uh, I took the battery out of it so it wouldn't know what the date was and so anyway to kind of s to simulate the issue so anyway you look at it here it says it's Wednesday December 31st and uh, 1969 Apple wasn't even a company before then it was a long time before they were even born so anyway um, we're going to type in today's date and uh, make it accept it and like I said, if you have a battery in it and for some reason it didn't update the date properly, even if you go into the time and settings and all that, uh, you can go in terminal and do it that way. Uh, usually when your time and date's already set up in the system, you go up to the window up here and uh, set it, go into the date and time preferences and you can set it that way. If you hit it on automatic, it should do it no problem. But once in a while, these machines, especially if you pull the battery out and you pull the drive out and you put it back together and it doesn't have any internet access, it's not gonna know what year it is generally. So this is a way you fix it. And like I said, when we got that problem, trying to install uh, different OS versions, kept getting this error. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in date space and then we're going to put in uh, today's date and uh, we're going to put the time's going to be off here but that's all right we can fix that later okay and there you go so i put the new date in there and now it's been updated so if i put in if i type in the date that will come up now and so that's how you make that work properly and like I said, that will, if you run into an issue installing software, whether it be doing a, an update and you get an error code on it, uh, go to terminal and check the date and make sure it is the correct date and time. Um, and that is most likely a cause of your issues. Might be another problem, but that normally fixes it. There's lots of other ways of uh, taking care of those uh, disk read errors too. Uh, as far as installing a uh, system or updates, there's other methods and different things that can cause that as well. But this was the one that worked for me. And like I said, this 
works on the G4. I don't know about any of the others, um, but it also works on the modern Max. And uh, yeah, guys, so I hope this is um, of uh, interest to you. Uh, like I said, it helped me. I struggled for like a couple weeks trying to figure out why I couldn't get software on that uh, 2009 machine. And uh, but now I've got it working good and it's back in the customer's hand and he's very happy. And uh, yeah, guys, so anyway, this has been another episode of uh, Days Vintage Apple Tech. I hope you liked it. Let me know, leave the comments. Hope this is a benefit to you. And uh, yeah, guys, so this is today, Tuesday, uh, June 9th, and uh, hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.